Heavy downpours in a considerable amount of time from late June to July is the monsoon season that many of us here in South Korea are familiar with. But that doesn't seem like the case in the past few years. What's changing and shaping the monsoon landscape? We're joined by Professor Yoon Jin-ho this morning. Welcome back. Thank you very much. So like I said, it feels like it's become a lot more difficult to predict, you know, the precipitation and where the rain will fall and until when. Instead, we're seeing more abrupt and extremely heavy downpours in specific areas. Why is that? So rain rate per hour at some places in South Korea exceeded 100 millimeter per hour, which is simply just unrealistic. Mm. It is like you are taking a shower when you have those rain. It is very difficult to tell why at this moment that we are having such heavy rains. Uh, we need some more thorough analysis. But I can tell increasing humidity in the atmosphere could provide some very important background, meaning that in early days, we are having rain maybe like a 50 or maybe maximum 60s. Mm -hmm. But because of so much humidity due to the global warming, that could, you know, drive this uh, very, very heavy downpours. So it is, it is not surprising to see like a rain rate can go to 100 or even more. So just, just pre prepare those things uh, in case you need to be outside. Definitely. Then is this something we should expect to see again throughout this entire summer? I mean, does this mean the monsoon season here in South Korea is no longer the monsoon season we are familiar with? Well, unfortunately, yes, it is. So the rainy period, the, the Changma season is not complete yet. So usually it uh, lasts until like the end of the July. So meaning that until that time, we are going to see some rains. But if it's not rain, it's going to be very hot and humid. But when it's rain, it's going to be very hard. So heavy downpour is expected. So it will be dramatic as it has been in the past few years. Now, is that also why heavy downpours have been concentrated in the southern and central parts of the country? Whereas, you know, here in South Korea, uh, here in Seoul, it's been relatively dry up until today. You know, why such dramatic precipitation in different regions? So the Changma frontal system is uh, is right now is is moving it will start to move northward, mm -hmm. meaning that like uh, last week we had a lot of rain in the southern provinces, but like uh, starting from today, there are some forecasts that the heavy downpour could happen around the Seoul and Gyeonggi area. So you know it's a it's a it's a you know in my hitting the population center. So just get ready for those events. It will move up and down. So don't be surprised that you are going to have rain tomorrow or even the day after tomorrow and so on like that. Right, because it's so unpredictable. And so much rain, yet we haven't had had to deal with an unusual, you know, usual summer guest, a typhoon. Uh, why no typhoon yet? So typhoon season is usually starting from like August. So there are maybe one or two in July, but uh, the main season is August and September. So we are, you know, it's uh, we we need to wait for those time. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so as we get to the August or September, we may see some of those uh, typhoons, and then I, you know, like uh, the the hurricanes in the Atlantic Ocean becomes very strong ones earlier day. So. If it is developed, there's a high chance it can be a very strong one, too. So typhoon may be on the way, but just not yet, because they usually come around you know, August, which will be next month. Uh, Professor Yoon, prevention is key, like you said, when it comes to facing these you know, unpredictabilities of nature. But there are also times we find ourselves in trouble at times. Uh, please do walk us through safety measures against sudden heavy downpours. So I mentioned to you that the, when the rain is be, you know, above 100, or 100 millimeter per hour, meaning just like you are in the shower booth. Mm. So the, the amount of the water that comes down within very short time is very much. So that means it can lead to flash flood. So 
especially at night time when you know you usually go on the pass or you just walk the the walk you know bypass along the rivers but you know when it's rain you know even it's not hard this time when when you try to go out you shouldn't go you sh you shouldn't take those things at you know in, in particular in these seasons because okay. when the rain comes within 30 minutes it's going to be a lot of rain also when you drive when your tire is uh, you know about one third or beyond then you lose the control of your car so that's very dangerous thing so um you know don't assume anything just to take the precaution as much as possible and that's uh, you know that's the, the best safety measures Professor Yuan, before I let you go, if some experts are saying that La Nina is developing, not El Nino. Is that the phenomenon that we're experiencing at the moment? So El Nino is, a, is a demising and then the La Nina is a start to develop. Um, but the, the peak season of those El Nino, La Nina is in the winter time. Ah. Uh, summer season is usually, you know, there are many factors. Uh, one of that we are looking at is that the, the ocean temperatures around surrounding Koreas, which is very, very high this time. So like a typhoon is, you know, is, is a matter of, you know, chances. Mm. When it develops, it can be developed very big because if so much heat is uh, in, at, at the ocean side. Right, so much heat and also humidity, like you mentioned. All right, Professor Yoon, thank you so much for your time and insight. As always, you have a wonderful day and stay safe. Thank you very much.